What if Goku was the Omni King instead of Zeno? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 6? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where we do a what if discussion on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and Dragon Ball GT. Previously on what if Goku was the Omni King instead of Zeno, we mentioned that Vegeta has now begun his battle with Beerus as he uses Super Saiyan Blue Evolution and he managed to attack Beerus and start to beat the shit out of him until Beerus decided to go and use his full power. Once when Beerus uses full power, both him and Vegeta are going at it as their power clashed with each other and while that was happening, Champa and Hit has now arrived as they claim to use the Super Dragon Balls to make this all stronger than Goku, but Goku found out that Champa used it at a wrong time and that if he used it after his fight with Frieza, he would have been stronger. With that, Goku went and he transformed into his Omni Super Saiyan as he went and killed Champa instantly right there. While Broly went and he powered up to his legendary Super Saiyan and he began to beat the shit out of Hit and killed him with an eraser cannon. Beerus saw that this was pointless so he decided to go his and use his full power as he has now used his Ultra Instinct power. With that, he began to beat the shit out of Vegeta as Vegeta Super Saiyan Blue Evolution didn't stand a chance against Beerus Ultra Instinct Power but from there, Vegeta went and he transformed into his Ultra Ego. Upon using his Ultra Ego form, Vegeta managed to overpower Beerus big time as he beat the shit out of him and from there he powered up a massive final flash and aimed it towards Beerus as he got hit head on and he died right there, proving that his Ultra Ego power is far stronger than Beerus' Ultra Instinct. What if Goku was the Omni King instead of Zeno? Part 6 Vegeta has now killed Beerus as he used his new transformation called the Ultra Ego, which was stronger than Beerus Ultra Instinct, as he was able to now take the title from him and claim to be the destroyer for Universe 7. Goku on the other hand has just killed Champa, despite the fact that he has used the Super Dragon Balls to make him strong. It wasn't enough to beat Goku as the Omni King and his protector Broly managed to go and come out of this battle alive. With that, Goku looked towards Vegeta as he smiled and said, <laughs> Congratulations Vegeta, you have now officially become the destroyer for Universe 7. As the link between you and the Supreme Kai has now begun, Vegeta felt a surge of energy when he became a destroyer. He can't really describe it but it felt very amazing. Since he already has Destroyer Key inside him, he has gotten a larger portion of Destroyer Key ever since he has become a Destroyer and with that he has now officially become the 7th Destroyer for Universe 7. Goku was very happy for him and with that, they all went right back to Goku's world while Vegeta stayed behind to do more training with Whis to make sure his Destroyer power gets even greater. Back on Goku's world, Dai Shinken then begun investigating on where the Super Dragon Balls went since it doesn't make any sense that they cannot find it and while that was happening, far in the universe, Zeno has learned that Champa has failed him and got upset and said, Now what do we do Zalama? Well I told you, we should have waited, but you didn't. You don't ever listen, that's your problem. Oh well, I thought he could do it but I guess he's too weak so what now? It's time we bring back the dead and get them to slay the Omni King once and for all. Well, I have a list of people we could bring back. Those people were actually very amazing and they could be part of our army. And when it's all said and done, they could easily take out the Omni King when they get the chance. Really? I was also thinking about bringing back the Celestial Sisters, the first Supreme Kai who was killed by the last Omni King. They will gladly come back and take revenge, but this time it will be on the new Omni King. That's a great idea! And don't forget about the Omni Queen! Huh? The Omni Queen? Is she really real? I heard stories, but I never thought it would be real. Oh, she's real, alright. She's the first female Omni King, or you could say Omni Queen, but got executed by my great great grandfather Zeno the First. 
She is the mother of all Omni Kings, and she will like to take a revenge. <laughs> wow, what an amazing way to kill him. But before we do that, let's use our last trump card, because I need to modify the Dragon Balls before we can make that wish. In the meantime, we will get Heart and Food to wipe out the Omni King to see if he's strong enough. And if he does, well then we have succeeded. If not, plan B is to bring back all of them, because I'm not really liking the idea of bringing them back. But if we have no other choice, we will have to do that. As Zeno went and he called Heart and Fu to come to where they were, and once when they arrived, Zeno gave him a core of power, which contains the universe seed, and he gave it to Heart and said, Take this! This is the universe seed! This is the one thing that can kill the Omni King! Use it right and slay the Omni King! But remember, he is very strong, so don't even think about trying to kill him! Not even the Super Dragon Balls can do it alone with that power. You must use this Universe Seed to kill him. <laughs> Very well then. I'll handle this alone and end his life. As he began making his way towards where Goku was. Back on Goku's world, Goku To and Dai Shinken were now doing everything they can to see where is the Super Dragon Balls, but from there, they saw that someone was behind all of this and they need to know who is the one who's calling all the strings. First Frieza and now Jumpa. It has to be a coincidence? No. They start to believe that it is someone behind this who's pulling out all the strings, getting them to come to fight the Omni King. But with that, Goku was able to sense that something very strong is making his way across the universe. As Goku said, This is it, Daishinken. Whatever is coming for me has to be coming to kill me once and for all. And the one who is the one who's pulling out all the string is the one who sent them to come here. I need you to go and infiltrate and find out. Who is the one who's pulling the strings? Don't do anything. Just watch and report to me. I'll handle everything, and together, once we need to find out who's pulling the strings, we will go and stop them. Broly, let's go! Of course, my lord. I'll do that. As Dai Chicken left, making his way to follow Hart's track to see where he came, that way he could see who is the one who's ordering him to do this, while Goku makes his way towards where Hart is. And from there, Goku and Broly has now arrived on a random planet where Hart and Fu were resting, trying to get their plan set up until they saw Goku and Broly has arrived. They were surprised to see that, as they smiled and said, Well, well, if it isn't the Omni King coming to see me, we were making our way towards you. <laughs> That's right, I'm the Omni King, and what did you guys want? Why are you guys coming to see me? Isn't it obvious? We're here to kill you, Omni King. <laughs> If only I had a Zenny for each time someone said that to me. You weren't the first to say that to me, and you definitely won't be the last, so please, show me what you can do. Well then, how about I kill him hard? <laughs> Over my dead body! As Broly went and he screamed. Broly has now transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan as he rushed right towards Fu and his battle has begun with him. While that was happening, Goku went and he screamed. Goku has transformed into his Omni Super Saiyan as he rushed right towards Heart and their battle has begun. Heart went and he striked Goku but Goku dodged it and from there he went and kicked him right in his face getting to be sent flying meters away. Goku then followed as he went and uppercut Heart and he began to beat the shit out of Heart until Heart began to laugh and say, <laughs> Not bad Omni King, but we do have a trump card up our sleeve to destroy you once and for all. While that was happening, Broly was attacking Fu, as Fu was trying to hold his own against him, but he is Broly who trained with Dai Shinken, and because of that, he is much stronger than any other fighter that Fu has ever fought. As Broly began to beat the shit out of him, and from there, Fu saw that Hart called him to tell him to go and use their true power. I'm ready when you are, Hart. As both of them went, and they have summoned the universe seat, and now they begun to glow.
both Fu and Hart has now used as universe seed. As Hart began to laugh and say, This is the power I have been waiting to use. Now that we got it, we will stand a chance against you. <laughs> Tell me, who are you working for? Who sent you here? That is for me to know. As Hart and Sleek came right next to Goku. And with that, he went and striked him right in his stomach. Getting Goku to breathe heavily and from there he was shocked. To see that Hart attack had a huge impact on him. Where for Fu, he went and he began to overpower Broly. As he started to attack him non-stop and from there he went and kicked Broly in his face. Powering up a massive blast to kill Broly once and for all with it. As Broly was shocked to see just how powerful and fast Fu's power has gotten. But from there, once when Fu aimed his blast towards Broly, Broly got up as he went and he screamed. Broly has now transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan God, as this is the first time he has used his power and from there, the attack got dispersed. Now that you're trying to kill me and the Omni King, I'll make sure I slay both of you guys. No one's gonna come near my Omni King! As Broly tried right towards Fu and he began to beat the shit out of him. Fu was shocked to see that despite the fact that he has the universe seed, Broly's new power was far stronger than him as Broly continued to attack him and from there, Broly powered up an eraser cannon and aimed it right towards Fu. As it hit him head on and he died right there. Broly then saw that Hart was beating the shit out of Goku as he was shocked to see that Goku was losing towards Hart and he went to help while Hart began to hit Goku non-stop. After all, the universe seed is the Omni King's weakness. It is like their kryptonite you can say and because of that Goku wasn't able to fight back since he is too weak to fight back against the universe Z. He was shocked to see why this is happening but from there Broly came as he headlocked Hart and from there he threw him high in the air. He then rushed right towards Hart and began to attack him but Hart went and dodged Broly's attack and kneed him right in his face as he kicked him towards the ground and said, <laughs> you have gotten cocky I see huh? Just because you killed Fu doesn't mean you can kill me. He was just a replica. I am the true universe seed user. <laughs> Is that so? Well then, Hart, I must congratulate you that you found a power to slow me down, but I won't be enough when I use my true power. What are you talking about, true power? Let me show you! <laughs> Find out what happens in the next episode of What If Goku Was The Omni King Instead Of Zeno? Will Goku's new power be able to overcome the weakness of the universe seed and destroy Heart once and for all? Or would it all be for nothing and die right here? All this will be answered in the next episode. If you haven't joined my Discord server yet, what are you guys waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it and please subscribe to my boy Vegeta T23. Please everyone, subscribe to Goku T23. Trust me, you won't regret it. And if you haven't already, please click the bell, that way you will be notified when the next video comes out. Trust me click the bell, it's worth your time. And if you feel like this channel isn't for you in the future, you can always unsubscribe.